Hello there everyone, I am Badgerlo and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you and your friends how to play multiplayer within the Sudden Strike series, particularly Sudden Strike 2 as we're using it as an example. However, this works for the first game in the series, obviously the second, its spin-offs and all of the mods as well. Now, to establish a secure connection between computers we use Radmin VPN, essentially because there's no servers left for the game with it being 20 years old. Radmin allows us to establish a direct connection to other computers that also want to play Sudden Strike. So in order to download Radmin VPN, you'll go into the internet browser and you'll go to obviously radminvpn.com. Make sure it's the right site. It will have HTTPS. Now there will be a free download and it's compatible with Windows 11 to 7 apparently. So any version in between those will work. I'm not sure on its compatibility with Linux, Chrome and other operating systems. So you'll have to check. Now with Radmin VPN, once you've downloaded it, it will open in this small little chocolate bar looking tab. And what you're going to want to do is make sure you're online and you will right click. Then you can either create a network to play with your friends or just join as, which is equally as efficient and then you can come and join us too so we'll type in our network which is sudden strike 2 multiplayer hq now make sure it's all spelt correctly and with the correct capitals and that dash and the password is simple it's one two three four five six then you'll click join of course i'm already a member but once you join it will come up with a list like this of all the players who are in our group now Today we'll be playing with the co-founder of the Badger Low channel, Comrade Chemo. Here he is in Radmin, we can see. We've got 100, 100, about 100 ping to him, and he's got three green bars, which means we are fully connected to him, which is perfect. Now we have established a connection. We are going to go into the game. Now, once we enter into the game, our beloved Sudden Strike 2, we will go to Multiplayer. And here at the top, it must say internet slash LAN, TCP slash IP. Otherwise, it will not work. You pick any username you want. Obviously, I'm Badger Low, so. And we'll go to join. You can also create. Let me just show you that now. So if you create, you pick any of these maps, press OK, and it will open them. But we're going to join, my friends. So we'll go join. Then we'll leave this blank because it's not necessary. We don't need to put his IP in and we'll click join. So now we will be able to see all the listed games and obviously we can see Comrade Chemo's game, game list. We can double click or just click join and it will freeze frame for a second and then we will join in. So essentially this is the lobby area. You'll be able to pick your country, obviously the five original ones. Now usually there is only two teams involved in a game unless it's like a Mexican standoff map with one against one against one so you will be either team one or two so my friend takes team two I will be team one now for those who like to pick their color you can pick anyone you like it doesn't matter I personally pick this color because it's what you are always in single player and it's what I'm used to seeing now there is some other variables I will talk through if you are hosting the game so the Zeppelin inactivity period is not really relevant. The capture delay alters the amount of time you have to sit on a Zeppelin for it to be captured. Five minutes is about perfect. Now, here, this is the timeout defeat delay. If we set this to 10 minutes, that's an adequate amount of time for you to recapture a Zeppelin or set the game up without failing immediately. Now, here is the map. You can see it's two versus two, mass and slacked, and you get a little bitmap. It tells us that the minimum amount of players we need is two, so we're all set to go. Then you'll just click ready. There's a chat box here if you want to tell someone, I don't know, yo. And of course the description of the map will roll off here. You can alter the game speed here, so it's ideal to keep it like single player. And we will load in, of course. Now once we've loaded in, I will go through the basics. So we will receive reinforcements through this gate constantly. Um, my friend <laughs> is asking what he should do. Let me just tell him, come kill me. Right, so here we have 
a zeppelin, which is the idea of multiplayer. Now, if you hover over it with the cursor in the bottom left bitmap, you can see it also highlights this one over here. That's telling us we need to own both of those for five minutes to capture that zeppelin group, which will then give us reinforcements. Now, this map isn't really the best example. As you can see here, the red zeppelin group is this zeppelin here and this zeppelin here. If we capture both cities, then we will own that zeppelin which I will show you in a moment on a different map. Now here we can see the timeout defeat delay and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now there are a few basic commands that you must understand to play multiplayer. So by pressing the enter key we can type to everyone however if we're in a two versus two it will only talk to your team so you must hold shift and press enter and the message will go to all. If you hold control and press enter, it will type to the enemy. This isn't a good example because in 1v1 it defaults to talking to the enemy. Now, there is also another button. It is the at button on your keyboard. It tells us how many units are on the way and in what time. So there we can see 724 units are on the way in 4 minutes and 14 seconds. As well, if we wish to save the game because we are encountering network issues or someone has to be somewhere you just press F11 and it will come up with this menu and then we can just call the save test MP and save and then you can load back into that as long as both players are present now another trick that you can use in multiplayer is you are able to see what a zeppelin will give you so then therefore you are able to decide whether it's worth dying for now, we hold the ALT button on our keyboard and we go onto the bitmap and we click on the Zeppelin so when it's surrounded by that white box and it will give us a list of units we are going to receive so a Kubel wagon, three snipers 97 riflemen, that's quite a lot a pan three panthers, five tiger tanks now this will vary based on obviously if we were the Soviets we would be getting T-34s and the same applies here, look, we can see what we're going to get for dying for this Red Zeppelin. Which is exactly the same because the map developers didn't change it. However, depending on what map you're playing, it will be different. Now, let's go and capture the Red Zeppelin, because obviously we're not playing seriously, this is just a demo test. Now, there is one other trick that I must show you. We must be able to give teammates units. So we will select the unit and hold backspace and it will come up with this yellow pointer. Now I can't show you because this isn't a 2 versus 2 game. But if I were to right click on my teammates units, let's say that we're playing a 2 versus 2 and this is my teammate. I will right click on the here and it will transfer this Jagdpanther to them. Obviously I can't show you this now. You can create markers like this and when you press the space bar it takes you back to them. This is most effective in team play. Please don't spam this ability. And what you will do is, let's say we're the Russians right now, and we see these Germans advancing, we'd go bang bang like this. Everyone would look and be like, oh, they're there. You can point things out to teammates using this marker. Now, another thing you can do is, you can type in the chat, Syria, and then you can throw a marker so that people know what you're looking at. Because... There you can see, we captured the Zeppelin in the last minutes of this attack, even though we weren't playing seriously of course. And now it tells us our reinforcements are coming in 8 minutes, and the Zepp will go black, which means we can't capture it again and it's out. The enemy can still capture it, so they could then come and take this and get the reinforcements. My friend thinks that we didn't take it and he's killed all of my units, luckily we got it at the last second. Now Zeppelins are essential in multiplayer. but if you just ignore them and play normally and kill the enemy to your best ability they are not so relevant as you can win without them as I've, we have done you know, countless times so in terms of the issues with connection one of the issues you may encounter while playing is the drop window now this is essentially this box here and it will come up with this if I tick that box it will kick him out of the game this means that you've lost connection so if we go down here 
We go into Radmin. We see that he's offline in Radmin. Usually this creates a major problem. Obviously he's just turned it off for demonstration. But what we will do is we'll turn Radmin off. We'll turn it back on. And then it will reconnect. And we will continue playing. Usually turning it on and off resets it. And we will then reconnect like so. We go back in the game. And everything will be fine. Just make sure that we pause the game while we do this. Otherwise your units will be running around while you're not in the game. That is pretty much how to sort the drop box issue. Right now we will be covering the troubleshooting of issues if you are still not able to connect to the game. I.e. is freezing or something else is stopping you from playing. The first issue we encountered was the game top version of the game. I don't know what I'm doing in my pictures folder. The game top version of the game downloads without an mplay folder. So this is the multiplayer folder. Therefore you must create one so that the game has a folder to download the maps into. Otherwise you will join and be stuck at 0% which is just not ideal. Now the second set of issues are more to do with connectivity, internet service provider and the firewall. So the first thing I will show you is if it's your first time playing multiplayer you may receive a message similar to this. It will say, Sudden Strike is requesting access through the firewall or something along those lines. Just click allow access to all networks or just allow or agree, or whatever it says. And then if this still does not fix the freezing, it may be that universal plug and play is enabled in your internet. So universal plug and play or UPNP is a setting that for some reason messes with the connection and stops us from playing multiplayer in Sudden Strike. So I've had three different internet service providers and for all of them I had to manually go and remove this and turn it off because it was stopping me from playing multiplayer. Now in order to do this you can visit your internet manager by typing in your IP address to the search bar. There is pretty uh, quite a few videos about that obviously it depends on what like service provider you have and obviously I'm not going to talk about the ones in England because most of the players um, will be in foreign countries now if you are in a country that does not allow you to mess with your internet settings or you just can't you can then run the game using mobile data obviously down here if we go to my oh, bloody hell if we go to my wi-fi's I'm currently connected to Ashley's wi-fi that's my girlfriend but the mobile data network will appear here as well and we can connect to that obviously there's a bunch of other fucking fuckers on there now if the issue still persists it is possible to turn off all three firewalls to prevent them messing with the game now for me personally I've just turned them all off to prevent any issues and allow the transfer of all data to and fro my computer now it makes it less secure and vulnerable of course so it's best to just turn it off when you play or just keep the computer just for playing sudden strike as I do and if you followed all of these and it is still freezing consult the host because it may be that they have this issue I am always available and happy to help anyone troubleshoot within the game so just pop a comment down below if you still are stuck with this and I'm more than happy to help you out now thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something new and we would look forward to seeing you on the battlefield, of course. All the best in the future. If you wish to play with us, please check the link in the description. And I think that's everything. If I've forgot... Forgive me. If I forgot something, please tell me in the comments.